um, we are trying to bring the light uh, this new uh, Gen 2 articulated rolling head with processing monitoring. It, what it does is it measures instead of the vertical uh, pressure, it measures the horizontal pressure of the rolling heads. And so we're trying to um, bring to light that. Um, I was in my career center class, Mr. Tebow had came in and introduced the I Challenge You program. Uh, I was instantly just really excited to, I saw it as an opportunity and I wanted to jump right into it and explore all that I could with this uh, challenge because I saw a lot of experience in it that I could gain and I just saw a bunch of opportunity from it. Well, we've taken it towards the plant and we've been very well educated in all the things that Oakland does. Specifically, the roller forming is part of our challenge. And we've interviewed several of the employees. So we're just getting our base knowledge that uh, Fundamentally, they get a great opportunity to increase the value of their resume. And so if you haven't written your resumes yet, you probably should, because this is a great tick mark on it. And then also, the people that they work with here at Warbeck Forum now become lifelong references as they're going through their uh, after college and even getting into college um, as far as recommendations. So those are two huge takeaways. <clears throat> Making the presentation and getting in front, up in front of people in a competitive environment to try to win the day um, has its own intensity and learning life learning lessons right there. Well, from an overform standpoint, I hope that uh, we get some good marketing ideas for our new product. And uh, for the kids, I hope they uh, get a feeling of what it's like to work at a company uh, here in town, a manufacturing company, especially. Um, I think it's a lot of experience, a lot of hands-on, working with teams. So it gets well-rounded experience. So you're prepared when you go to college or something like that. Um, I am an art teacher, so I do project-based learning, and I wanted to learn how to motivate students without doing it for them because I'm a very hands-on. And so how do you inspire people and motivate people without telling them what to do? How do you get them to come up with their own ideas? So that's one of the Oh, that's right. That's, when, that's our dream. Hopes, fears, and dreams. Everyone's dream is to win this challenge. Are you guys going to win? Yes, we are. I really think we are.